While NASA busies itself with James Webb, its European counterpart ESA is hard at work on another related mission with a much more famous name attached to it. Euclid is named for the Alexandrian Greek whose geometrical study, the elements, formed the basis of our mathematical thinking for almost two millennia. What we want is actually to continue our successful program, which is uh, actually providing uh, the cutting-edge space science, meeting the challenges of worldwide research. But where the original Euclid worked only with ruler and compass, his namesake in space will have much more sophisticated instruments in its locker. Like the web, Euclid boasts a modest mission to map the geometry of the dark universe. Over a period of some six years, it will look back over the entire time in which dark energy has contributed to the accelerating expansion of the universe. Scientists tell us that what we can see accounts for less than 5% of what is there. The rest is made up of dark matter, some 20%, and the remainder of dark energy. They act in contradictory ways. Dark matter acts through gravity to play its role in forming galaxies and slowing the rate of expansion of the universe. Dark energy, on the other hand, defeats gravity and thus encourages acceleration of that expansion. The Euclid Consortium, part of ESA's Cosmic Vision program, brings together 1,000 scientists from 100 institutes in 14 countries with added input from NASA in the United States. In 2013, Italy's Thales Alenia Space Group was named as prime contractor, with Airbus in France responsible for the payload module. On board Euclid's payload module will be a telescope 1.2 meters in diameter, a visible light camera, and a near infrared camera and spectrometer. Euclid will undergo its critical design review in 2017, with its launch planned for December 2020 from Kourou in French Guiana. Like the JWST, it will orbit around the L2 point. Channeling the thinker whose name it bears, Euclid will be looking for genuine insight into the evolution of cosmic structures. Investigating the nature of dark energy, dark matter and gravity, it will track their observational signatures on the geometry of the universe and on the cosmic history of structure formation. Euclid will deploy two key systems, weak gravitational lensing or WL, and Baryonic Acoustic Oscillations, BAO. WL examines how background galaxies are disturbed by foreground dark matter and measures modifications in the shape of galaxies brought on by the gravitational lensing of dark matter. BAO reveals the wiggle patterns which help us gauge the expansion of the universe, revealing the three-dimensional distribution of structures by means of the spectroscopic red shifts of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Putting it more simply, perhaps, Euclid's task, made easier by its unprecedented accuracy and stability, is to map the shape, position and movements of two billion galaxies, or one-third of the sky. Even more excitingly, the James Webb Space Telescope is not the only star performer, pardon the pun, on the horizon. In 2016, NASA confirmed the decision to go ahead with its Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, or WFIRST for short. WFIRST is a NASA observatory that has the top ranking of the National Academy of Sciences to launch in the 2020s. It has the same image precision and power as the Hubble Space Telescope, but with 100 times the area of sky that it views. Looking at a large fraction of the sky allows you to get a more complete accounting, for example, the stars in the Large Magellan Cloud, which is the nearest galaxy to us, or the stars in the Galactic Bulge. So you can do a much more complete accounting in a much shorter amount of time.
This new observatory will offer astrophysicists the best of both worlds by casting its eye both wide and deep as it seeks to shed light on dark energy, exoplanets and cosmic acceleration.